Number 20, if a and b are in the domain of a function f, and f of a is less than f of b, which of the following must be true? So here we have an inequality and a function, obviously. And they're saying which of the following must be true. Well, there must be some kind of logic into this, built into this problem. Because I know that when I plug in a into this function, the outcome is less than when I plug in b. But I don't know anything about the function. I don't know whether the function looks like this and a is here and b is here, you know, further out or vice versa. I really don't know anything. I just know that when I plug in the x value of a, it's less than the x value of b. So one thing I'm sure is that when I plug in a and b, there's different outcomes. If there are different outcomes, they can't be equal. So this has to be true. Because we don't know anything about the way this function looks. It could, it could be going aligned, going negative, a line going positive. A could be here, B could be here. We don't know where it is. So D, A equal, not equaling B is the only thing that we know for sure is true.